Good morning, moderator, teachers, and everyone. My name is Hezi Yuan. I'm doing a PhD in music performance. I would like to thank my supervisor, Dr. Dan Hong Kim, thank Proof Fazili, Proof Claire, and FMSP for providing us with a chance to exercise and a platform to exchange academic knowledge. Today, my research topic is pianist as transcriber towards a performance of a solo version in Rachmaninoff's Rhapsody on a Simmer of Pagdini. This talk is divided into eight main parts. To start with, I'd like to look at abstract. Musicals may have a better understanding of the solo piano's role in an orchestra by presenting with the solo piano version before performing with the end orchestra. Pianist plays this. Transcriptions may provide an enjoyable alternative to the full symphony experience. Symphony and other orchestra works have been studied and disseminated via keyboard transcriptions since the early 19th century, including operas and uh, cathedrals. Some famous musicals who have transcribed their orchestra works into solo pianos, such as Lizzie, Brahms, Bosni, Rachmaninoff, no one has yet transcribed the orchestra into solo piano work of Rachmaninoff's Rhapsody on a Simmer of Pagnini. So this research looks at Rachmaninoff's 15 transcriptions and focuses on my own take to make an original transcription for solo piano and come up with creative technical solutions to problems with piano performance. Then they are talking about introduction and the background. Some scholars think the transcription traditions is a time honorable phenomenon that spans more than six centuries, starting with the first transcriptions of the human voice to the first keyboard instrument. Some scholars think that defined as the arrangement of piano music composition for a performing medium other than the original or the same medium, but in a more elaborate styles. Transcription occupies a fundamental place in the history of Western music, and the other scholars think since the Middle Ages, composers, performers, and engineers have constantly adapted their music to learn variety of musical styles and to bring variety to concert programs. Many pianists and composers have made transcriptions such as Bahar, uh, Lezit, Brahms, Brusny, Ravier, Rahmanov, Afidin, Horowitz, and others have entered its golden era in the middle of the 18th century with the appearance of Lizit and his contemporaries. By the beginning of the 20th century, transcription as a genre became a trivial and inevitable component of recital programs of Wittesor pianists because so many famous pianists were also composers. Transcriptions of Arkans were bound to be made. By the mid-20th century, Platinov, Velados, Harmling, Stephen Horf are also doing some of their transcriptions. Even though it is a fact that there are various and valuable reduction and transcriptions technicals for the piano, they are really the top topic of a comprehensive examination. Upon further investigating through databases, the author discovered a large number of books and articles. Still, the majority of them were about compositions, arrangement, music theory, and instrumental teaching methods and the transcription art was represented only by textbooks or menus, which was not representative enough of the transcription art. 
incorporation score of orchestra sounds into a piano is challenging and time consuming for a pianist, but it will strengthen the pianist's grasp of piano skills and orchestra composition while allowing them to innovate. Rachmaninoff is a very representative composer in the field of transcription. He transcribed 15 works of symphonics, violins, and vocals by many composers into piano solos, piano duets, in that. These keyboard transcriptions are conducive to not only the research and dissemination of symphonics, but also other orchestra genres such as operas and uh, uh, concertos. Rachmaninoff's Rhapsodian Simmer of Pagnini is one of the famous orchestra repertoires. Up to now, no one has subscribed this work for piano solo. Therefore, in this research, a new transcription will be created to be added to the solo piano repertoire and performed, while providing creative technical solutions to the problems in solo piano performance. Here are recital programs for Recital 1 and 2. Recital 1 includes Chetnovsky, Glasnov, and Rahmanov, a total of three works. Chetnovsky, The Sleeping Beauty Suit for Piano Duet, include five movements. Glasnov, Symphony No. 6, include the four movements, and Rahmanov, Rafsidian Simmer of Pagnini. Uh, include introduction to variation 10. Recital 2 8 contains all the transcribed works of Rahmanov and the complete solo version of Rhapsody on a Simmer of Pagnini transcribed by me. Thirdly, performance problem. The most difficult problems for performers are the transcription problems and uh, interpretation problems from that transcription. It includes three points. The first is to master the ability to transfer to the piano the colors, sonority, multi-layered texture, and the power of the orchestra. The second is uh, to be faithful to the original works of the composers personally as diaries. The second is to have the transcribes own creative criteria and the ability to solve all the performance technicalities and perform. My first part will be about uh, performance objectives. It includes three points. The first is to analyze the piano transcription composed by Rahmanov. Second is to apply the understanding of Rahmanov's transcribing skills into transcription of Rhapsody on a Simmer by Pagnini. The third is to perform the piano a solo version of Rahmanov's Rhapsody on a Simmer by Pagnini. As you can see, the fifth point is performance questions. It includes three points. The first is what are the issues with the piano transcription composed by uh, Rahmanov? The second is how to interpret and perform the piano solo transcription works by Rahmanov. Third is what technical problems need to be addressed in the solo version of transcription. Let's now move on to the sixth part methodology. In this research, I use practice lead and practice based research. My seventh part will be about a discussion and conclusion. By using Jean Jacques Nettie's ideas of um, poesis and uh, the uh, Z6 
creation and the perception. It demonstrates that transcription attends performer control over a musical work beyond what is nowadays generally understood by interpretation, and that such control can challenge a listener's assumption about the work. Lastly, it suggests that the transcription offers a new light on pianists to perform this concerto with greater musical imagination and experience. Conclusion: A transcription may be deemed work in wasted, but it does not seem to be at odds with the Romanov spirit. So the last part is reference. Okay, that's all for today's research sharing. Thank you for your attention.